Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about creating group tasks using Microsoft Planner and Power Automate. So let's jump in. So this episode was inspired by one of my colleagues, Tyler. Uh, he brought up a, a problem to me saying he has a, a team that reports into him and oftentimes he'll create tasks in Planner. He likes using Planner to organize his team and the work that they're trying to execute on. But one of the frustrations he had was that he doesn't want to individually create tasks for people that are doing the same thing. So for example, maybe you have a timesheet. Everybody needs to submit their timesheet on like the second Monday. Or perhaps you're going through your regular compliance sign-off where everyone has to go ahead and complete their, their compliance work. And so as a result, he wanted to just create one task, like a group task. And when he did that, have Power Automate detect that a group task has been created and subsequently create individual tasks for each person. So this is what it looks like here. Uh, we've got, you know, the boss, you know, please complete your timesheet, goes ahead, goes into Planner, manually creates a group task. And as part of the title, indicates it's a group task just by using a specific string like group task colon. Then what happens is Power Automate is going to go ahead and look for this new task that's been created. And when it sees that this task has a title that begins with group task, it's then going to go ahead and iterate through all of the people that that task has been assigned to and create an individual task for them. So here we've got some people, Paige, Brooke, and Steve. They will all receive their own individual task. Now, what about the original? task, the group task that was created, well because we know when a group task is created based upon that string, we're then going to go ahead and just complete that group task. Unfortunately th with the connector in its current state, we can't or we don't have the ability to go ahead and just get rid of it, just delete it. So the best thing that we can do is go ahead and just complete it. So let's go ahead now and let's jump into a demo. So let's start in Planner. I will walk you through the scenario or the demo, and then we'll dive deep into the flow itself and I'll show you exactly step-by-step step how we accomplished our goal. Now, previously I talked about needing a string that would indicate it's a group task. And this is where, as part of the title, I'm just gonna type group task, colon, and then indicate please complete timesheet. I'll then go ahead and assign a due date. So we can say that that's on Monday. And then I will go ahead and assign Steve, Paige, and Brooke to this particular task. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on the Add Task button. And now we see that we actually have a group task that has been created. So let's head over to Flow. And while this is running, I will walk you through the flow and then we'll jump back and see the output. So here we have create, uh, when a new task is created, trigger. So this is the planner trigger. We're going to go ahead and kick this flow off. The next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to check the title of the group task to see if it contains group task. If it doesn't, then we're just basically going to skip that step and just let this thing run and uh, basically that's it. We're not gonna be concerned with it. Now, in order to avoid an infinite loop, what we do wanna do is remove the group task string from the title when we go ahead and create individual tasks. So here we're looping on every single assignment, every single person that's been assigned that task. And what we need to do, title is a mandatory field. So we need to, to use the new title which is going to say please complete your timesheet as opposed to group task because all that would do is basically kick off this flow once again. We're then going to go ahead and pass in the start date, the end date, and then who this task is assigned to. So now we're going to have that individual having their own task that they can then manage. Once we've gone ahead and done that, we've gone ahead and assigned or created a new task for every single person in the original group assignment, we're then going to go ahead and complete the original task and we're just going to indicate that it is 100% complete. So let's go ahead, let's see if our flow has run. And here we can see that it has seven seconds ago and one minute ago. And so if we head back to Planner 
and uh, I didn't even have to refresh, but we can see that Paige has Please Complete Timesheet, so does Steve, so does Brooke. And if we expand upon our group task, we're going to see Please Complete Timesheet completed by Kent Weir. And so this was completed essentially by that flow. So if we go ahead and just look at our run history, we'll see the path that our flow took. So here we have the task that was created. The title does contain group task colon. So we're going to then head down into the if yes path. We're going to then compose our new title. And then for every assignment, go ahead and create that new task for them. And so we're going to do that three times, one of three. And then at the end, we're going to go ahead and complete our task, indicating it's 100% complete. Now we saw we had these other three runs and what has happened is every time we've gone and created that individual planner task, Flow is going to detect that. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to check to see when a new task is created. And in this case, we can see it's please complete timesheet. Then we're going to do our condition to see if it's a group task or not. In this case, it's not a group task, so we basically skip it. And so that's going to happen for the other two tasks that were created as well, since they are not group tasks. Otherwise, we'd have an infinite loop and things would get very messy very quickly. So that concludes our demo. Uh, what did you think of it? I'd love to hear. Please let me know in the comments. Also, really curious to know about planners usage in your organization. I think it's a great tool. I think the biggest challenge with planner is do people have the discipline to follow through with using it and actually managing their tasks. I think it's a great tool for creating some accountability, obviously collaborating and having that shared experience. Just wondering if you have any tricks that you might use in order to ensure people are engaged and actually see through continued planner usage uh, in the long term. Uh, in addition, if you're not following me on Twitter, please go ahead and do so uh, at Weirzy. Check out my Udemy courses if you haven't gone ahead and seen those before. I do courses on Microsoft Flow, Dow Power Automate, and also Azure Logic Apps. I do have discount codes available, so go ahead and check that out. And please uh, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel if you found this interesting. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you later on another video on my channel.